Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more Crafting on a Budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Today's video, I am bringing to you a DIY using Dollar Tree's cat scratch pads. I cannot wait for you to see what I do with these cat scratch pads. This is such a quick and easy DIY and the outcome is so farmhouse and so stinking cute, I can hardly stand it. I do wanna say ahead of time that yes, this is a DIY that can be used and has been used with plywood that you can very easily get at Lowe's or Home Depot, but I am purposely doing it the way I'm doing it because I wanted to do it using Dollar Tree items and I was really trying to think out of the box to see how I could create this using Dollar Tree items. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I came up with using these cat scratch pads that the Dollar Tree carries. For this project, I picked up two of these cat scratch pads that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I'll also be using some of this decorative nautical rope, some twine, some of Waverly's wax paint, and I'll also be using some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory. I cannot wait to show you what I do with these scratch pads. Because the edges of the cardboard are uneven and kind of frayed, I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut off any excess cardboard that's on the edges of these scratch pads, making them a bit neater. Then using my glue gun, I'm gonna glue two of the scratch pads together. Using this Waverly wax paint, this is a darker brown wax paint. I'm gonna put a real nice coating over the top of these two scratch pads. I'm not looking to fill it in perfectly. I'm just looking to darken up this cardboard a bit because I'm gonna give it a wood look. Also making sure to paint all the sides of it as well to give it that finished complete look. Then I'm gonna add a bit of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory to this while the wax paint is still wet. This is gonna give it a bit of texture, it's gonna give it some depth, and it's gonna give it more of a wood look. Using some of Dollar Tree's decorative nautical rope, I'm gonna use this rope to write out the word love. And I'm gonna glue it down to these cardboard scratch pads using just regular old hot glue sticks. I then cut about a 12 inch piece of rope and I will be hot gluing it to the back of this to use it as a hanger to hang this up. And this would not be one of my farmhouse creations without a twine flower. I'll be using Dollar Tree's twine and by simply wrapping it around my four fingers, I'm gonna wrap this around as many times as I want, making the flower as thick or as thin as you want it. Once I've gotten it to the thickness that I like, I'm gonna take a small piece of twine and I'm gonna tie it off right in the middle. Once I've tied this off, I'm gonna take and separate all the loops, spreading this out. Then I'm gonna repeat this one more time to finish off this flower. Now that I've got both of my bunches tied off and separated, I'm gonna take my hot glue and just hot glue them on top of each other, giving us this adorable twine flower that I'm gonna hot glue to the top corner of this love sign. And that did the trick. This is so stinking cute. I love this. And there you have it. This is such a quick and easy farmhouse DIY and the outcome is amazing and this would make for the perfect gift. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture, send it to me on Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. And there you have it. You would never know that this was made out of cardboard using those cat scratch pads. I think that this turned out really rustic and farmhouse and I love the look and feel of this. 
I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2,000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow and it helps for YouTube to notice my channel just a bit more. So don't forget to click that thumbs up and help me out. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.